Welcome to my channel where I teach the Bible. I hope you'll subscribe, hit the bell, make comments, give me thumbs up, help me get this out to as many people as I can. I want the Bible to impact people's lives, draw them to Christ, and help them with a biblical worldview which is lacking in the world. So help me get that done. I want to get this out to as many people as I can. One of the things that kind of bothers me sometimes is I think we look at Washington, D.C., and I live in California. We look at Sacramento, and the the people there do not worry about deficit spending and things like that. And how is that going to impact our kids and our grandkids? In this country, we have almost a $32 trillion debt. How do you pay that off, you know? And you think... What does that do to our kids? Is the day going to come when we're going to have to cut government services, not take care of streets and roads and bridges and infrastructure and not fund our military the way it needs to be funded because we've squandered our children's future? Or when, when uh, uh, Social Security is not funded? Uh, you know, I, I'm 74 years old. I get Social Security. What's going to happen to my kids? Do we think about the future? There is a message in the Bible about such a thing. And it came, it comes from good old King Hezekiah, and he pops up in the book of Isaiah. And God had a message for him. He said, you know, get your house in order, bud. You're gonna die. He turned his head to the to the wall and prayed to God. And God said, Now nah, you know what? I'm gonna give you another 15 years. And then real soon after that, he had a visit from some envoys from Babylon. And we pick up the story in the 39th chapter of Isaiah, starting at verse 1. At that time, Morodak Baladan, son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah letters and a gift because he had heard of his illness and re recovery. He, got, he was sick and he got well. Hezekiah received the envoys gladly and showed them what was in his storehouse, the silver, the gold, the spices, the fine oil, his entire armory and everything found among his treasures. There was nothing in his palace or in all his kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Now think about that. You know, you, you couldn't do better with spies. And most people would be, wow, that's, that doesn't make much sense. But he just showed them everything, okay? We pick up the rest, pick up the story in verse 3. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked, what did those men say and where did they come from? From a distant land, Hezekiah replied, they came to me from Babylon. The prophet asked, what did they see in your palace? They saw everything in my palace, Hezekiah said. There is nothing among my treasures. I did not show them. And you got to think, what in the world was he thinking? Or was he thinking? Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, hear the word of the Lord Almighty. The time will surely come when everything in your palace and all that your fathers have stored up until this day will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. And some of your descendants, your own flesh and blood, who will be born to you will be taken away and they will become eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. The word of the Lord, the, the word of the Lord you have spoken is good, Hezekiah replied. And then for he thought, and he's telling him, your relatives are going to be hauled off to Babylon. They're going to be slaves in Babylon. They're going to be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. And then listen to what he says. In the last part of verse 8, Hezekiah replied, for he, verse 8, the entire verse, the word of the Lord you have spoken is good, Hezekiah replied, for he thought there will be peace and security in my lifetime. Isn't that kind of what the leaders in Washington, D.C. and, and uh, in California are saying? Ah, it's going to be good in my lifetime. What? A, but I'm not worried about my kids. Wrong message. We should be thinking about them too. Hezekiah should have been th thinking about them. You know what happened? 
exactly what the Lord said would happen. Didn't happen in Hezekiah's lifetime, but his family was hauled off to Babylon and they were slaves in Babylon and exactly what God said would happen, happened. What about the peace and security for my family in the future? We need to think that way. And we need to bring that kind of thinking to the Lord on behalf of our kids in our country and our grandkids. They matter. I have grandkids, 12-year-old and the 15-year-old, soon to be 16-year-old. They matter. What happens in this world matters for them. And most of all, I want them, want them to know Christ and the gospel, most of all. It's the most important thing. So we need to take care of those things and think about how things impact our kids and our grand grandkids. That's a lesson we need to hang on to. Hope you'll do that. I will talk to you again soon.